How many of you have faced a situation where you have gone for an exam, very worried whether you will remember the answers, you are under stress, right? You are panicking. I'm worried. Did I study enough? Yes, exam mega tamatakuna. I forgot some answers. Will it happen? Anyone has been that? Have you have experience? What happens? You go to exam, you get the test paper, you look at it, you know, I knew this answer yesterday, but I can't remember it now. Has that happened? Yes. Now what happens? Exam is over, you go to the garden, you have a cup of tea, you talk to your friends, suddenly you remember the answer. Ah, y'all are laughing. That has happened to you all. Why is that? Because you are trying to remember. Because you are putting pressure on yourself. If I try to remember this stuff, I won't remember anything. We have to always learn something intelligent. Now, how we all did exams in school was probably wrong. We memorized the answer. I passed A-levels actually twice because I did it twice. <laughs> but if you ask me any questions from what I did for A-levels, I will not remember anything. Because I just remembered enough to do the exam. And say I forgot everything. It was just memorized for the moment. But you ask me anything about what I'm teaching the last six years, ten years, I can tell you everything. Because now that's in me. First of all, whatever new thing you're trying to learn, you have to add emotion to the learning process. Let's say you're doing finance. Let's say you get a finance report, which says revenue and profitability report for the month of June. When you take the report itself, you can see the title is there. This is what. Now, before you even open the report, you will have questions in your mind. What happened to the profit for June? Was it more than May? Won't that question be there? Was it more or less? If it is more, how much more is it? Which town has had the highest sales in the country? Which sales rep had the highest sales? Who is going to earn the highest commission for this month? Those are all questions you can have. Now I'm telling you ways that you can remember in a far better way than trying to memorize. Ask questions. Now you open the report and say, my gosh. Buddhika has got the highest sales name because the last three months I know Buddhika was down. He was being scolded by his management also that he says Madhikela. Now see, this month he has got the highest sales. He is getting the highest incentive. I am so happy about this. My gosh, he has got 112% achievement. 112% this month. Now why are, you, why are you excited about this? Because you know Buddhika. You know that last three months he was down. Now do you think after one week when you meet Buddhika that you will remember this number? What is my story here? You are reading this report, you know Buddhika, you were interested to know who has got the highest sales and when you saw this now name Buddhika, you got really happy, you got really happy because you knew his sales was down in the last three months. Will you remember that Buddhika got the highest sales in one week's time? Will you remember? I will remember because I am interested to remember. Why am I interested? Because reading that made me happy. That's the secret ingredient. Add emotion to it. When did you do A-levels? 2001. 23 years ago. 23 years ago, what you got, he remembers of that after 23 years. Why do you remember that? Now, you, are, you remember your exam results, the Z-score, his Z-score, because that is yours, as you rightly said, and you're interested in your own achievement. What I'm asking you is, could you choose to be interested in Buddhika's achievement? Pulong neither. It depends on what? Interest. Can't you make yourself interested in anything? Yes. Ah, that's a choice. I met the CEO of Brown's Group. Very smart gentleman called Mr. Sanakan. You ask him what was the profitability of any of the subsidiaries in the last six months, he'll tell you. You ask him which product has increased, what is the market share, he'll tell you. Not by looking at any document. He knows <laughs> at the fingertips. Why? Because he's interested. Do you understand the difference? So you want to know more, you want to remember stuff. All you have to do is find a purpose to remember it. That's the key. You have to find a reason you want to remember it. Reason is not I need to give a good presentation. Who cares? <laughs> what are you going to do with that knowledge? Now why I remember this stuff is because I am interested in helping you. That's my purpose. I'm interested in being able to do a good program and teach you something well. That's my purpose. Because that purpose is there, I remember. See, my team will, will hopefully vouch for the fact that when we have our morning meetings, <laughs> I'm asking them questions and I remember much more about the work that they are doing than themselves even. Why? Because I'm interested. I want to know. 
and therefore you know it's not that anyone is cleverer than someone else do you have the interest so all you have to do is be interested any student can be interested in any subject interest comes from inside <laughs> today i am interested in subjects i hated at the a levels i hated physics physics was one of my worst subjects today i am studying quantum physics on my own <laughs> why because i'm interested i'm not studying now to pass an exam i'm learning about it i'm watching videos i know a lot about quantum physics now because i'm interested in it when i was doing a levels i was in interested in all subjects i was failing signal up to grade 6 or something my signal marks 20 30 like that very bad i'm studying in a single medium ma huh? fail then i got one master i said me no more yeah I will make sure that you pass. I will get you a distinction at all levels. Again, that was all. I get you a distinction, but bank can visit karna. So he taught me. He got me every week. I have to write an essay and give it. He would teach us signal in a very interesting way. He tells stories and this and that. Then right. finally, I got a distinction for signal. A good teacher can make the most difficult subject interesting and easy. Today, the good thing is you or even our children are not restricted by the teachers they physically have. They got get on the internet, get on YouTube. You can get the same lesson, maybe in English, but from some of the best teachers in the world. It's there. I learned psychology for free <laughs> on Coursera, which I have used in my train program. So ona kama tiye na ona unandu tiye na ona oni zai kikana ona bulwa. So that's how you switch on by having a clear purpose. I am learning this for this reason. I am learning this to help someone. I am learning this to teach this. I am learning this to use it in this way in my life. Ena kawadala tamata kwenye.